Hey, what's everybody? Rich from Streak here, Hempstead, New York. Today we're going to review the Bugs Bunny 8. This shoe was releasing uh, April 20th. And box price is 160 Color white, black, true red. Um, as an added surprise, they put back in our retro card. Right there. Shows uh, goes up to Jordan's 22. And it's, the front's got Michael jumping through space. So for the guys who like the retro card, that's back in the box. Okay, um... The shoe originally released 1993. Uh, it had a full, uh, it was a Tinker Hatfield shoe. It has a full air midsole in here. Uh, it's supposed to be a little bit more cushioning, a little bit more support for Mike. Um, and actually, it's supposed to be a little bit more warmer inside, too, uh, I guess because of all the cushioning. It doesn't really feel as much cushioning as well, I remember, but um, well, I guess it is in, 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 the, uh, in the tongue area. It also looks like it's got another Hirachi collar in there, also. But, um,. It's a good looking shoe. The shoe originally, like I said, 1993 it came out. It was retroed in 2003, and then it came back out in 2008, but that was a countdown pack. Uh, so countdown packs are a little bit, uh, well, they're a, lot, they're a lot exclusive. They're not as much as a, a shoe like this, which is a full family. And that's, I think, when it came out in 2003, it was a full family. So the 2008 wasn't a full family countdown pack, so probably a lot of guys didn't get it. So it's almost like really 10 years since the shoe has come out. And I realized that 2008 had it, but not that many guys got that, that, that pack. And there wasn't that much that kind of distribution. Anyway, so it's like a 10 year uh, anniversary for the shoe. Since it's, since it's been retro and 20 year anniversary since it's been put out. Just to go over the shoe, you're playing the grays here in the midsole with the white. It's got the stripes here, all the colors, the red, the black, and the grays. Uh, here's that strap. It's got a Jordan here on the strap and that Velcro strap that comes around the top, 23 and boarded on the leather. Um, you got the gray suede that goes through the laces around the collar back here, back in the heel counter here. Um, these uh, plastic here, this gives also a little support, these plastic side panels, and it kind of wraps down here to the, uh, the bottom of the shoe. Uh, nice bottom on the eights, I like the bottom, how that, that pattern plays in. Got the black jump man, the gray comes through, all the colors of the shoe that right there. Good looking bottom. Uh, as far as the quality, the quality I think on this shoe is very nice. This is not a multi-grain leather. I know some people are saying that they don't think the leather is that good quality, but it's just not a multi-grain. It's a smooth leather, and that's what fit this shoe. It wasn't like a Jordan 3, which had the multi-grain, but I think the, uh, the leather is nice. The finish is nice on the shoe. There's no markings on it, no like blue marks. The seams are great. Um, it's definitely a good, a good quality shoe. Um, Anyways, to go back, then they have the chenille tennis ball here with the jump man on the tongue. The black also on the tongue. Uh, looks like a little bit of a Hirachi sock liner inside. Nice padded tongue. Uh, what do you got there? You got a red, if you can see it in there, you got a red jump man inside. Okay. Then you got the, the straps that are the, probably the biggest tail of the, uh, of the aid. These are for support. It's also a little bit, people say, as far as the... Uh, the rabbit ears on Bugs Bunny. Also, really, the color of this shoe is also made after Bugs Bunny. This is the same colors as uh, as Bugs Bunny was on the cartoon. Um, so that kind of relates to that. But it's definitely a cool looking shoe. Um, like I said, what else? Uh, let me have a couple. Um, of course, I'll put a couple hats with it. We have a couple of clothing, Nike clothing, t to put with it. I'll throw the hats up here first. This is a uh, Bulls. It's actually a. Um, an adjustable uh, like snap whatever on the back. It's got a little snake in it, which I kind of like. The gray tones are pretty close to what's in the shoe. And you can just put like a regular bull's hat on there. Would match it up. Pretty easy shoe to match up. Um, what came with this so far, we've got this uh, track jacket here. This jacket's 120. This is a nice looking jacket. It's got that chenille um, tennis ball right there to tie into it. Nice jacket for 120 bucks. That goes with the shoe. Right there, and we've got couple of tees. I think all these tees are like $35. There's a black and red one right there. Ties them pretty good. This is, a, this is a simple one. White and red with a 23. One and only. And this is probably the one I like the best. This one here. That shirt there I think is cool with the shirt with it. Showing that uh, tennis ball there. Again. Just to show you some clothing that went with it. And okay, now I've got some shoes to show you. There's a lot of shoes that's come in since We've done our last video, so give me two seconds.
Okay, what do we got here? Uh, what do we got? Turf Jets. These are 130. We got two nice colors. Blue and silver. Gray, red, and silver. Put those down here. Son of Mars. It's a nice looking shoe too. Um, these are, I think, 170. Right there. He's like the Air Ones. They call this shoe the uh, was it the Air One Ups. These are 120 bucks. Uh, a little different than the Air, the uh, original Penny, but they're taking that silhouette off that shoe. That's a nice looking shoe. Of course, these are the Griffies. These are a buck fifty. These are definitely hot. These are going to be a sellout. Okay, I got a lot of Air Force here. Uh, this is a nice high top color. Let me throw these down here. Um, little elephant print on top. Uh, white, black, red. 100 bucks. These are, these are hot looking. I like the color white. Um, these are two new ones here. These are 90 bucks. You got the uh, the black and white, and you got the royal and white. Two nice colors right there. And then uh, this one just actually just came in today, uh, gray and red. There's actually a lot of nice uh, sweatshirts I have to match this from Nike. That red and that light gray, hot looking shoe, 90 bucks. These are the Lunar Air Force, the lighter ones. These are all a buck 35. Uh, you got the purple ones with the Kevin Durant's, um, the Colby's here with the green ones, and the uh, LeBron's was uh, this one here. You probably can't see them all. There's a lot of shoes to show. Those are 135, right here. Uh, one sec. Sorry about that time. I don't know if I put these on the last videos or not. But these are all nice colors. These are the Bo Jackson. These are all 110. The original colorway, white, blue, orange. These are all nice colorways if you want to just take a fast look at it. Um, new color in Air Max 95. That's a hot color. These are 150. All right. And then this is another um, Griffey Max Diamond. These are 170 bucks. Hot colorway, the red, white with that, that metallic red right there. Um, Hot looking shoe. These are, uh, like I said, 170. That was a lot of shoes. Sorry about that. I mean, we've been a little bit behind on these videos, and so we kind of got. There's actually more shoes I could put on, but I know it'll probably get a little too long. Hey, anyway, if you want to take a last look at this uh, Jordan 8 Bugs Bunny, and um, I think that'll do it. Uh, I think the next shoe will be probably the uh, the fives will be the next ones I'll do. That'll probably be in May. Uh, that'll be it. All right, buddy. Speak your out.